Hello and welcome back to my little knife show here. Uh, Postman just showed up actually while I was making the other video for you, uh, the BK7 review. And I just got a ginormous box. Uh, this thing, the box is huge, so um, I'm kind of anxious to see what it is. So uh, let's check it out. I know what it is, but I just want to see what it looks like. If you read the title, you probably know what it is too. So, all right, let's see here. Using my Sog Trident uh, Tanto to open it. Love this knife. Great all purpose knife. We've got pellets. Oh, okay. Ah, these things are gonna go everywhere. All right. There it is. That's a big box. I've seen it in pictures before, but uh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't think the box would be that big. It's kind of a monster. So the Down Under Knives, uh, the Outback. Uh, I've always liked that scene. I think one of the greatest knife scenes in a movie, um, Crocodile Dundee, where Mick Dundee pulls out, uh, or the, <laughs> the mugger pulls out the, the little switchblade on him and uh, asks for his wallet, and he says, that's not a knife. Pulls this puppy out and he goes, that's a knife. So, it's... It's always been sort of a fascination of mine. Let's see what this thing looks like. All right, well, first off, it's heavy. It's very heavy. Uh, okay. The uh, leather stacked handle. Now, after I ordered this, actually, I, I saw on uh, down under nice sight that they uh, they're having a lot of counterfeit issues and I'm like oh great another thing we got I mean, people used to just counterfeit money now they counterfeit every product you can think of so then I looked and where I ordered it it wasn't an authorized dealer so I want to make sure this thing is real it already looks and it looks a little grungy That is a huge blade. Look at that thing. It looks like I'm going to have to clean up the handle and stuff though. There's a bunch of smudges and stuff on it. Outback. This is down under knives. The Outback It's the right spot. Well, it looks, it looks legit. It looks like there's a couple little uh, Problems on the polishing. I'm gonna have to, gonna have to work on that. Uh, nothing I probably can't take out with a Dremel. But uh, there it is. We got a supposed to be a ten and three quarter inch blade uh, with handle. It's a sixteen inch knife overall. It's definitely blade forward with that real thick front on it. So it's going to be a good chopper. Um, not generally in everyday carry. <laughs> uh, people, uh, I think you'd be arrested if you carried this most places around here now. Uh, Swedge is not sharpened. Tip looks good. They say this is a dual uh, heat treated design so the cutting surface is actually heat treated to a harder Rockwell hardness than the spine. So it's got good strength of the spine and really good edge holding capability without uh, without breaking the blade. That's a heavy knife. This thing, uh, I think, together with uh, the sheath, I think it's 28 ounces. It definitely feels it. it feels like 28 ounces, just the blade actually. Um, but but there we go. Uh, it looks like they have some oil all over the blade, but I'll clean that up and, and see what it looks like. So there it is. 
I got the uh, the blade cleaned up anyway. Um, still looks like some some polish needs to be done on that brass. There's some grunge that's like binded to it. it. Won't come off with Windex, so I need some metal cleaner on there. Uh, they do say uh, that you're supposed to soak the handle in vegetable oil, uh, not mineral oil, for like 24 hours if you're going to use it in any dry environments or anything. Uh, it impregnates the uh, ebony and, and leather and prevents it from cracking. I have heard stories of the ebony splitting on people, so I'll probably be doing that tonight. Um, we've got, um, yeah, it's a 440C. Uh, stainless steel blade not the most expensive steel but it's a lot of it that's for sure I just weighed it it weighed in at 25.8 ounces they actually specify 28 ounces so I'm not sure if my scales off I mean, it's an accurate postal scale but I'm not sure if the scales off or if their number is just sort of a round number so there it is Yeah, the sheath is your basic uh, cowhide leather, um, kind of heavy. It's got little uh, bone ornamented uh, sharpening spike here. Just fits right in the sheath there. Uh, and then, of course, a fake alligator or crocodile uh, leather here. Uh, I think it's just cowhide that's been stamped. Um, it's kind of bubbled up in a couple spots there. Um, with a little uh, snap closure. Uh, it's definitely not uh, definitely not the nicest leather sheath I've seen. They're just trying to make it look authentic, I guess. I did see one guy on uh, bladeforums.com that uh, made his own sheath and it was it was awesome. All right, well, stay tuned for more and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.